what's up we're back for the dime hunt if i can oh man i gotta get something see i cut my fingernails for presentation and look at the functional trade-off we made this is you know worth considering dirty fingernails have some upside guys open up the pop can make use as a screwdriver open up a roll of dimes freak out people with your dirty fingernails now this is actually the first roll of dimes that I've ever opened so obviously we're looking for silver and it looks like I don't see any right nope 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 mm -mm. so that's a thing right no silver we do have some shiny ones over here I'm assuming none of this is going to be anything interesting there's a 99 Kind of off center there. Um, let's get the zoom. Dimes are kind of small. Definitely not full bell lines. Er, wow. What the hell am I even talking about? You know what I'm talking about. And now I'm confused. Hold on. Why are they calling it full bell lines on a torch? Have I confused myself? Anyway, let's not waste time here. So, what do we got? A pile of dimes. We'll just put them over there. How about that? Here's another one. Whoops. Denver. Nothing too crazy. Very blast and white for a clad. That's got a line. So that actually looks pretty decent. Alright. It might not be complete. Eh, it's pretty good. So if you need a 2019 Denver that's not beautiful with the lines on the back, there you go. Next. Same story. That one's prettier. That one is prettier. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Maybe. But none of this crap is silver, guys. We need silver. That's why we're here. That's the whole point, right? We'll take some some cool older key dates with the full bell lines on the torch, I guess. Am I saying that right? Full bell lines. FB. Yeah. Hmm. 80 Denver. Very worn. Let's just start this way. Eh, it's interrupted. Close at the bottom, the top definitely misses. And that's a 2013 Philly. So yeah, again, we're, we're looking for obvious doubling that I might miss. That's got that ring of death in it, huh? That's unfortunate. Whatever that is. I've seen that on a few dimes now. I actually have one. I thought it might have been something. But I think we know that it's just nothing now. So we're learning. It's got a nice line at the bottom. I might... Mm, no, it's interrupted up the top. And it's a 2018 Denver. I'm trying to be fast, guys. I'm really trying. 2018 Denver. The phone is giving me some some problems here. Just taking a quick glance at the writing, the motto, whatever you want to call it, whatever it's called. Denver. So yeah, see that circle? Nasty. Whatever machine is doing that to the dimes, they're tearing them up. Dimes, dimes, dimes. Whoops. Here's a 2008 Denver. And I should have looked at my book. It kind of, it's not a necessarily like the cherries, Cherry Picker's Guide. I've never read it. I don't know what it's talking about. But the... Uh, 
that American Coins book I have, that 2023 book, it's handy for just looking at any outliers in value. And then it'll usually kind of key in on like, oh yeah, that one has an error or a variety or whatever the hell it's called. This one's got a weird strike. Very mirror-like. Look at that. That one's very blinging. Hmm. Misses on that line at the bottom. Here's an 88 with a very nice relief. That one looks good. Kind of worn, but man, he really pops. All right, I'm getting sucked into looking at dimes. Here we go. Here we go. I do see a line at the bottom. The top has some soot. Maybe not complete all the way across. And that's a 2020. All right, there we go. Very gross. Next. Beat up. 89 Denver. So yeah, what I was saying is I should have looked at my book before. I will for the next roll, before the next roll. I'll grab the book and bring it out here with me. And kind of just cite what I'm seeing. That was close. Eh, it's damaged up at the top. I'm just looking at the lines, you know, down there and up there. I'm just looking for continuity in that line all the way across. <clears throat> 27D. And then I'm just glancing at the model, <clears throat> glancing at Liberty. Looking for any fun stuff that might be interesting to somebody. What's up, dude? Love you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we got that. Here we go. This one looks popping. Woo! Bling, bling. Look at that. See, so, yeah, that one looks okay. Very shiny. What year are you? 2019 Denver, huh? Real shiny. So is that polished from being like cleaned? Being circulated? I have no idea how they get that shiny. Or maybe they came out that shiny and it's just there's another one. Yeah, 2019's pop. Need to adjust my light here. Somehow, I have totally tricked off my my light setup. Yeah, that one's kind of jacked. Very round. That's a 97 Denver. Cool, cool, cool. Moving on here. There's a 2008. Hey, I have a question. Does anybody, do any of you have a 2008 American Silver Eagle where that mark on the back is the old style and not the new style? Ooh, what's that? Hold on. Hold on. Hmm. Okay, we might have something. We might have something. Do you see it? That stuck out right away. Oh, it might be damage. Hold on. Yeah, I think that's damage. You can see that. So I was looking at that little bit of material that's lifted up right there, but you can see how there's like a track. Like something grabbed it and snow shoveled a bunch of material. That's what it looks like. 
Dang. Okay. All right. Theory debunked. Now it's trashed, huh? I just saw that raised area on a 77. So that's kind of the first of any older ones we've really seen. Hmm. says 2000 and, oh, 2008 so yeah it reminds me the uh, the 2008 American Silver Eagle I kind of want one of those ones with the wrong reverse but they're freaking expensive they're like $400 for one I don't know about that and yes, I tried to go find one on eBay and got suckered into a whole stack of 2008 Eagles because people are really, really disingenuous and dishonest in their listing pictures and they use pictures with the old reverse. I mean, the cynic in me is like, oh yeah, they knew what they were doing and they baited us into bidding those up and getting stuck with is not what it was represented to be. But... Maybe they used a stock photo also. I don't know. Anyway. Don't go FOMO and stuff without seeing it firsthand because it's not always as it appears. 95 Denver. So yeah, I have a few... Uh, 2008 Eagles, just because I was trying to capture one of those errors. And I should have known better that there would have been people trying to take advantage of, you know, whatever. And maybe in some ways I was trying to take advantage in, of those people not realizing what it was they had. So that's what I get. That one's fairly off center. Huh, look at that sucker. That one might be worth setting aside. Maybe not. 2007P. Fairly off-center strike. Not by a lot. Just a touch. But there may be some other things going on in here that I want to look at under the scope. So I'll set that aside. Yeah, it just feels off. Damaged up pretty good. Pretty worn out. Weird. I see like shadows. That's a weird done. This one feels weird, looks weird. Everything about this is weird. Hmm. Do you see that little like funny stuff up by the torch and I don't know, maybe that's nothing. It looks funny. Interesting. Do I see anything funny over here? I mean, not really. Anyway, to the side it goes. So we have one dime over there. No silver. That's a really nice looking one. Twenty twenty two. What are you gonna do? And I do see a lot of the dimes are like even that one again feels off if just a slight bit. So yeah, it looks like we're gonna get a lot of newer dimes. Makes you really wanna just be like, hmm, maybe I should've went really hard on uh, pennies. That's an ugly coin. Very ugly. So yeah, not a lot going on here, guys. Any 
what's the odds you find some Mercuries or something? There's definitely some candidates for some, you know, decent shaped coins even being in circulation. I don't know how collectible any of this stuff is, but I'm not collecting it. This is going to go right back into the um, grocery store's, uh, what's it called? What do they call it? The self-checkout. Yeah, I discovered that they accept change, and so I'm just going to go in there with pockets of change and hook them up. That is, after we look at everything under a scope, we're just going to kind of triage. I need to kind of set some limitations on how much time I'm going to allow myself to look at each coin under a scope, because you already know how it is. I might be here for a really hot minute looking at nothing, which is a big time suck. Right? Just a quick glance. Quick glance. I mean, this is kind of the rate I want to look at things under the scope. Just kind of look at it. Do you see the thing sticking out? Nope. Alright, then let's go. Look at every letter for doubling just real quickly. Look for any of them fun cuds. Die chips, die cracks, retained die, lamination, all kinds of fun words that we're learning. Whoops. That's a 2000, pretty worn out. Or a strike through grease. Yeah, it looks like it's worn, right? Yeah, just look at everything all the way around it. I don't know. I'm going to say worn. But again, I don't know. That one's popping. Very blingy. Hey, that's the first... Is that the first 2023 we've got? Quite possibly. Nice. It's very shiny. There's no real reason to hang on to it from my own interest, so we're going to move on. Dang, this video is still 20 minutes. Alright, see, I see some of that on this, too. Kind of weird stuff in the fields. It was a 2010. The other one was like a 70s, right? I can't remember. 99. Denver. 2018. Not a lot going on. There's an even 2000 Denver. Well, so far, dimes have not been as much fun as nickels. At least with the nickels, we found a San Francisco, right? The dimes are kind of whack. There's something weird on the edge. You see that edge? Kind of strange. Weird. Yeah, that one's weird. That one's weird, but it might just be worn out. But it looks funny. I don't know if that's a... I don't know what the hell it is. I was going to say broad struck, but I'm not really sure if that's the appropriate term. It, honest, it honestly just looks kind of worn out. But it might have been struck stupid. It looks funny. Put it in my funny pile. It's probably nothing. There's a pop in 2018. Oops, I probably just fingerprinted all over. I think it'll be fine.
yeah so anyway here we are at the end not a whole lot going on we found two dimes I kept aside this one actually has some pretty color in the light you see that on his forehead kind of red and that's the copper I assume interesting very interesting See, that's the one that was kind of off-center. Not really much anything, right? Meh. And then this is the one that had kind of the funky edge. It's probably nothing. This is probably just going to be a nothing burger. Eh, it's kind of funky. I think that's probably what I saw first. That edge just looks funny. A little bit off center, a little bit stupid looking. Hmm. Probably nothing. Maybe it's just worn out. Anyway, that's all we got for roll one of dimes. Pretty boring. Let's do the next one much faster.